Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. Yesterday, the Southeastern governors and some leaders in the Southeast uh, uh, scheduled a meeting, and that meeting held actually in Enugu State. But guess what? Right now, the communique of the meeting is out and the resolutions have been spelled out. One of the key ones we are looking at is the issue of insecurity revolving around activities of uh, UGM. You're going to hear what they have to say about the issue of sit at home and other vital issues. But before we give you full details of that, if you've not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our video. The meeting of Southeast leaders ended in Enugu on Tuesday with a declaration that no further sit at home would be observed in the zone. I mean, report that despite the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP coming out to say it has cancelled the every Monday sit at home, the region has remained under lockdown on the first day of the week with some unknown persons enforcing what IPOP call not non existing order. However, in their meeting, which was attended by political, religious, and traditional leaders, they said such order would not be condoned any further. A communique issued after the meeting was read by the chairman of Southeast Governors Forum and Ebony State Governor Dave Umayi. The meeting was attended by Governor Ifanyo Gwani of Enugu State, who is the host, Senator Hope Uzadima, Abia State Deputy Governor, Right Honorable Udeoko Chuku, National Assembly members from the Southeast Geopolitical Zone, Former governors, former chiefs of army staff, General Azubike Ihejirika, retired, leader of the religious and traditional institution from the zone, including leader of Hanes Ndibo, among others. At the commencement of the meeting, they observed a minute silence for all those who have lost their lives to the security challenges in the country, especially in the southeast zone. And the full text of the communique read thus said the governors and leaders of the Southeast condemned the killing in the region and have agreed to join hands with security agencies to stop the killing. The meeting condemned the sit-at-home orders which are mostly issued by our people in diaspora who do not feel the pains. The meeting resolved that governors and all people of the Southeast do everything within the law to ensure that there is no further sit-at-home in the southeast and that people are allowed to freely move about in the zone. The meeting agreed that the Southeast Ebubagu security outfit be launched in all the southeast states and the law passed in various southeast states before the end of 2021. The meeting received the community report from Hane Zendibo on various matters affecting the Southeast, especially on the issue of security and marginalization of the Southeast people, and resolved to study the report from Hane Z worldwide for immediate implementation and engagement with the federal government for amicable settlement of all issues agitating the mind of our people, especially the youths. The meeting agreed to support security agencies to restore peace in the Southeast. The meeting resolved to support election in a number of states and direct security agencies to ensure peaceful election in a number of states come November 6, 2021. The meeting con commended all groups and the clergy for their effort at interfacing with our youths. The meeting mandated our clergymen, bishop, Ohanese and traditional rulers to continue to dialogue with the youth. Mm, I mean, this for me, um, this meeting is seems not to have any importance. Sorry to say this. Now, why am I saying this? What is uh, they say we will not tolerate any sit at home again? How many times have we seen different state governors coming out to speak about this issue of sit at home? And the next Monday, people are running helter-skelter. Some people are even paying the price that they least expected. The Southeast is right now in serious fear. And that is not the way to go about it. I, I feel that at this point, looking at how helpless Southeast is, um, they should reach out to these UGM 
and invite them for a meeting. You know, I think that's the only way out because uh, as we are talking currently, even um, IPOC, that's Indigenous People of Biafra Leadership, have come out to say there is no existing order for sit at home again on Monday. So IPOP is not even the people, you know, doing this whole thing. The UGM, we do not know the reason why they are doing it, but I, I still can remember that one of the reasons that they keep mentioning is that there won't be any election in an amber state. And the second reason that they normally come up with is that Mazinam de Kanu should be released. So at this point, looking at how helpless Southeast is, it's not the issue of meeting, calling Elder Stenman, calling all the Hannes and Devos and all of that. It's for you to reach out, look for a way to reach out to these people and calm them down, at least calm them down. Possibly there's going to be a lot of things that will have to exchange hands for these people to succumb in the continuous push against lack of peace in, you know, the southeastern part of Nigeria. I mean, what is happening currently can also be compared to what is happening in the northern part of Nigeria. Today we hear also some people who are also disguising themselves as UGM have also used this opportunity to, you know, pay a visit to banks and cut away some reasonable millions of Naira. You know, under the <laughs> ages of this so-called UGM, a lot of atrocities is going on. So the, 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 what I expected will be part of the outcome of the meeting is that we have extended hand of negotiation to this UGM, that they should come. What do they really need? What do they want? Because <laughs> we've already seen that no one seems to be able to control these guys again. IPOP cannot control them again because I don't know how, what happened. Uh, these guys are just set of people who are ready to tear down Southeast. And if IPOP cannot control them, the governors cannot control them. Even military is finding it very difficult, you know, to handle these people. Yes, they are trying to see how they can build up this and that to stop them. But hey, it seems as if it's not even working out. What's the way out? Not to sit back and say, we do. I will never tolerate that from now henceforth we declare an end to sit at home. Bros. <laughs> This thing is not to do. I, 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 first of all, I just want to um, sympathize with some of the families who have been wrongly battered and frustrated by this UGM. So we've heard of deaths of several people. Uh, we don't know the reason why they were you know, killed and all of that. But it points to the fact that the uh, Southeast cannot control the situation Again, some of the things that they have listed for me is just storytelling. Now, they've made mention of the fact that uh, all the southeastern states should uh, kickstart uh, the issue of, uh, you know, Ebubagu. Everybody should have Ebubagu. Ebubagu, what are the... Um, what, what is the objective of setting it up? What will be their duties? What will be their weapons? So that you don't keep on losing people day after day. What is the weapon that these guys will be empowered with? Who will they be working with? Not to say set them up, set them up. In some of the states that they have been existing, what had been the difference? Is there any way? Are they trying to stop for stop? peace and order or have they been able to create something new that points to the fact that they are actually in existence this issue has gone beyond just sitting down and having a meeting it is something that the, the, the leaders need to be very practical about it by reaching out and seeing how they can stop this i mean this is high time because it's affecting virtually everything and nobody seems to know why these things are going on.